Do you often find yourself thinking about a project or task you've left unfinished? Maybe you lay awake at night, mulling over your incomplete assignments, or find yourself zoning out on conversations because your mind is still fixated on what's still to be done. If these questions sound familiar, then you've probably been experiencing the psychological phenomenon known as the Zigarnik effect. And here's the interesting thing. You can use the Zigarnik effect to your advantage. It can improve your life in a variety of ways, such as having better recall, increased motivation, decreased procrastination, improved test scores, increased productivity. In this video, we'll look at five practical ways to harness the Zigarnik effect to help you achieve your goals. And you'll want to pay close attention to strategy number three, because it's one that you've probably seen throughout your whole life. Now, if you enjoy the content of this video, then please help us out by taking a few seconds to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. All right, let's get started. What is the Zigarnik effect? The concept was first introduced in the 1920s by Russian psychiatrist and psychologist, Dr. Bluma Wolfovna Zigarnik. While dining at a restaurant, Dr. Zigarnik was fascinated by the waiting staff's ability to easily remember long and complex orders. It seemed to take little to no effort at all, but once the orders were filled and paid for, the waiters struggled to remember any details, which intrigued the psychologist. Zigarnik went on to actively study this psychological tendency, and in doing so, she found that people were more inclined to better recall information about tasks that were still in progress, rather than tasks that had been completed. This is thought to be because a completed task is no longer relevant or at the forefront of our minds. There is no longer a need for the subconscious to remind the conscious mind to work toward the goal, and we relax, making it harder to recall the information. This is an interesting concept, right? Well, now let's look at the five practical ways to apply the Zigarnik effect to your life. Number one, make a start. Starting a new task can be daunting, especially when you don't know where to begin. It's easy to become overwhelmed and procrastinate, putting things off until the very last moment and then becoming stressed with the amount of pressure you've put yourself under. The trick is, if you have a complex task ahead that you're reluctant to begin, even if the due date isn't for a while, try to start it early on. It doesn't matter how long you work on it for, simply starting can have a powerful effect on motivation. And once you've made a dent in your task, you'll find it keeps popping into your head, nudging you to do a bit more, and a bit more, until it's done. Making a start is often the most difficult part, but by breaking through the reluctancy, you'll fight off those niggly worries of the unknown and be one step closer to success. Now, if you struggle with procrastination, then watch this video about the five habits you can use to overcome procrastination. Number two, schedule tactical breaks. Tactical breaks are short, strategic breaks that are designed to help you stay focused, motivated, and productive throughout the day. As counterproductive as leaving tasks incomplete may seem, this can trigger the Zigarnik effect and increase your motivation to finish it sooner rather than later. Think of it like leaving a sandwich only half made. The urge to go back, finish making it, eat it, and satisfy those hunger pains would play on your mind. And that same need to complete feeling can be applied to any task by taking tactical breaks. Not only this, but you'll also give your brain a chance to rest and recharge, which can help you stay on task and avoid burnout. You can come back and finish up at a more convenient time, and you'll probably do it more efficiently than if you'd forced yourself to stay at the desk. To learn more, we'll add a link in the description box to Brainscape's article on the right way to take study breaks. Number three, use cliffhangers when working. Okay, it's confession time. Remember in the introduction where I told you to pay close attention to strategy number three? Well, that was an example of how we use the Zigarnik effect when creating these videos. In essence, the teaser acted as an open loop that you needed to close. And if you're watching at this point, then this teaser has successfully worked. Now, here's the interesting thing. This is a concept you see all the time in the entertainment industry. Countless movies, books, and TV series keep people hooked by continuously using cliffhangers throughout their content. And the good news? You can use cliffhangers for your work. The idea is to plan your breaks around key points that you touch on but don't fully cover. 
This helps in building suspenseful endings to tasks and projects, as talked about on The Muse. And in doing so, create a sense of anticipation that will drive you to go back and complete the task. Just remember to jot down a few ideas before you go, or you may come back to a hole in your plot. This technique can help you to stay focused and on track with your goals, as well as give you the motivational boost needed to get through times when work feels overwhelming. Let's face it, we'd all rather have a little excitement in the story, a little suspense to keep us intrigued. And with this strategy, you'll be able to make that part of your projects while also taking some much-needed breaks to apply the Zigarnik effect. Number 4. Set Realistic Goals it may feel a bit overwhelming to leave everything unfinished if you're not used to it. By setting small realistic goals and ticking them off one by one, you can regain that much-needed sense of accomplishment whilst leaving the project as a whole incomplete. Using the Zigarnik effect is about balance. That means while a feeling of urgency is key to staying motivated, it's important not to pile on pressure excessively. Try using the SMART goals technique which is something we cover in one of our most popular videos when prioritizing what to do and when. The SMART goals method stands for Specific, what needs to be accomplished and how will you do it? Measurable, how can you track your progress? Achievable, are your goals realistic? Relevant, what part in the bigger picture does this goal play? Time-bound, what's the time frame for this goal and how will you manage it? By following the SMART goals method, you're more likely to stay focused on the task at hand and ensure that you're working towards achieving your goals. Number 5. End your day with a to-do list. In the words of Thomas Edison, never go to sleep without a request to your subconscious. And one of the best ways to implement this idea is to write a to-do list at the end of the day. In doing so, you're effectively giving yourself a list of incomplete tasks that, according to Dr. Z. Garnick's research, you're more likely to remember and be motivated to complete. A to-do list will also help you to stay organized and on track with your goals, ensuring that nothing slips through the cracks. It allows you to focus on the most important tasks first and avoid any stress or anxiety that may be brought on by an overwhelming workload. By planning ahead and breaking down your assignments, you can reduce the ever-mounting pressure and feel more motivated knowing that each day is bringing you closer to your goals. Achieving your goals can be a daunting experience, but if you apply the Zigarnik effect, you can ease the pressure and find it a more enjoyable experience. And as we close things out, let me use this concept one last time. If you'd like to learn something else that can radically change how you approach your goals, then be sure to watch our video about a concept known as Parkinson's Law. And if you enjoyed the content of this video, then please help us out by taking a few seconds to hit the like button and then subscribe to our channel.